Hey YouTube, Kira here and Sundari. We're bringing you guys Sundari's Nightmare Doll deck profile. Uh, just recently acquired this deck for her from a friend of ours. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll handle the cards upside down. Unless she wanted to. Did you want to? <laughs> sure. Use the, okay, I'll yeah. pass them back. So we run four uh, Nightmare Doll Catherine. The grade three lineup is pretty standard for the Nightmare Doll deck. Uh, mostly because the other grade threes, you can't really, you know, use any of the new Nightmare Doll support because they all call for Alice with the skills. So I guess you could use Alice in another Nightmare Doll, but Catherine's way too good with the rear guard power support for Alice, giving it the, if it doesn't hit, you call an Alice, then put the Alice that attacked back into the soul. And she gives the Alice also so plus 1,000, so it's an 11k when it attacks. Also, th for Nightmare Doll Alice, the main card of the deck. Um, Counterblast 1, when they attack it, you put her into the soul. Choose a Pale Moon from your soul, call it to rear. Uh, it's just really good pressure. You can't call Alice itself, but um, game winning, as long as you have your Counterblasts. I remember we were playing some games together, and she would just push. I think I was using Magus, and my hand size just got depleted because of all the attacks she made. And then we also run for grade twos for Nightmare Doll Master Brenda. Um, she is basically a put into soul. You call out a worker roid, and the worker roid gets the skill when you um, put her into the soul. You uh, can call out a Brenda. So with the Beatrice stride, you want to grab the strides too, so we have them. Right. Um, you basically. Um, get an additional call because Beatrice only calls two units, but when the unit that was called out with Brenda is placed back out into the soul, you get an additional card. So three units can come out as well. And we also run four Nightmare Doll Ginny, uh, one of the cards from GBT05. She has the skill where if you put her into the soul, you can choose an Alice from your soul called out to rear. It gets plus 5,000. So with Catherine, it makes her a 16,000. Uh, attack point uh, unit. So good requires a 10k to get a trigger. It's a 21k um, Alice. Um, and most of the time, you know, you want to have an Alice out on the field and an Alice in the soul. So using uh, Ginny guarantees that you'll have that play. And we also run four Silverthorn Marionette. Uh, run her basically because she's a good ride target and she also is a worker Roy, which you want to run a majority of in the deck. For grade ones, for Hades Hypnotist, just as the generic perfect guard, just because you do want to sometimes guard rear guards, you want to protect Alice. Decks like Narukami and Kagero really swamp on this deck, swamp, uh, just because they um, retire units and there's no really a way to get back your Alice. Uh, for Nightmare Doll Leslie, she is the restander when you call an Alice in the same. Uh, unit to rear you stand this unit so basically just an additional you know extra power if she's already out if you put three other worker roids in call out alice and you restand her and three nightmare doll juliet uh, she is soul charge power when this unit boosts um basically soul charge one simple as that it's a gb1 so you have to stride but builds up the soul and also, just one stride enabler at the moment. We only have uh, one, but we most likely would take out a Juliet for another one to run to, just to help with the strides, because you do not want to discard Alice for your stride cost. And two purple trapezes just help set up, you know, some early game plays as well as, you know, late game plays. And for grade zeros, we won the Dreaming Bicorn. It gives plus 3,000 power to how many units? Three. Uh, three. So... You know, just additional power to Alice if need be, especially with, you know, Beatrice, because with Beatrice on the stride, the Alice that's attacking is still a 10k because you don't technically have Catherine on the Vanguard. And for triggers, we run eight crit, four of the Nightmare Doll, and four of the Poison Juggler. And we also run four of the uh, Nightmare, the Silver Thorn draw because it's a Worker Roid. And four of the Silverthorn Juggler Nadia, just because there are no Worker Roy heals out currently. And for the Stride Zone, uh, we run one Mephisto and one uh, Amanda. We would run uh, Harry, just Harry's in another deck right now, but we'd definitely take out Harry for either one of the uh, Cliffords in the deck. Just one, one of the Cliffords, keep these. And also we run four of the Beatrix, the stride for the Nightmare Dolls. She 
Basically, you put three of your workeroids into the soul after she attacks. You place her back into the G-Zone, so you'll have Catherine on the Vanguard as rest, so the Alices that you call can gain their effects. So, yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Uh, what would you say? You really enjoy using this deck, right? Oh, yeah. Having fun with Still it. Still got to learn it, but... But lots of different combos, it's and cool it's a so lot of far. fun. So we hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.